Okay, I'm back here in Fayetteville, North Carolina. This is the second time I've been to this dump. I had pretty good luck right under here. But it's been tunneled out about four feet under there, so I don't think I should tunnel anymore. That's too dangerous. So I'm coming over here about six feet. Hopefully I'm going to succeed in digging a hole right in here. Who knows, the roots might make it impossible for me. But, if there was a great layer a few feet that way, it should be right here as well. So, for those of you who say I need to wear gloves, how about that one? That's a very expensive glove. I hate to spend money on gloves because they get worn out too fast. So here it is now. I got about four feet of fill to clear off of here. Well, I dug that far and stuck the probe all the way to the handle and didn't hit any glass. So that's a very bad sign. Because I know that three feet this way there is glass. So I am going to go back over here and tunnel even though it's dangerous. I'm right on the layer already, so let's get to that one instead. I still gotta clear a couple feet of fill out of here because this is pretty much the dirt that I left from the last time. 100 scoops of dirt later, I'm finally getting to the first bottle. And of course, I'm getting eaten alive by mosquitoes. It is the first day of fall right now, September 20th. Is it going to be a soda bottle? Nope. It's just a grape juice. Welsh's. Hmm. Well, some people might give a dollar fifty for it. I found a pontled piece. It's not a bottle, so I'm not too excited because I'm sure they made pontled stuff into the turn of the century when it comes to things like oil lamps. Okay, I think I see one sticking out right here. a broken Henry Wampole. Pretty common one. But what's this? Oh, dang it, it's just a slick. I had part of this showing the last time I was here. But I'm starting to get into some stuff. We might have a soda bottle. A little wide, it's probably something else like a beer. Had to break this to get at it. Of course, it was already broken. So, what is this? Oh, it's a citrate of magnesia. Are you kidding? It's not even embossed. Oh man, I'm off to a bad start today. Well, at least I found the stopper for it and it has printed on it citrate of magnesia. So that's pretty good. Okay, what do we got this time? In Boss Pharmacy, I'm hoping. Nope, it's another slicker. Okay, I think we've got a chemical, and because it's square, it's going to probably be embossed. What? Another slick? Okay, I think i got a spring water bottle showing up here. Those are usually embossed and usually worth some good money. Alright, I just hit two more bottles clearing the way. Looks like a beer and possibly a cobalt, maybe a broma seltzer. We'll see in a moment.
My camera malfunctioned as I was pulling out the most important bottle of the dig. So here it is. I'll show it to you again at the wrap-up. Okay, I got that other bottle out. What is it? No, it's not a soda. It's some kind of England bottle that's just mineral water, I would guess. Does it have the cat on it? It does. It's the Cat Burke. This. Okay, it's time to get this out of the way. There's a lot of bottles around it. There's a nice big one right underneath it. Looks like a square mason jar, but I'm sure it can't be because this is way older than that kind of stuff. Oh my god, is that what I think? No, it couldn't be a Jack Daniels. It's shaped like one though. I guess it's possible it could be one. I'm certainly due for one. 33 years of doing this. I should have found one by now. And we got another bottle right here. Another slick pharmacy. Not quite ready to come out yet. Okay, how about now? Okay, embossing? No. I don't see anything. Why so many slicks today? Well, it's nice slick anyway. It's looking a little bit dangerous and definitely difficult to maneuver into such a tight space. Well, trying to get back in there. Okay, found an interesting stopper. And I got my headlight turned on now. So, I got a whiskey fifth coming out. Don't see any embossing, but it's extremely rare to find embossed cylinders around here. Okay, I think it's ready to come out. Slick again. Why so many slicks today? This isn't Arizona, is it? Got some kind of a weird bottle here. It's a long, tall one. I can't get it out yet. Alright, I got something showing up here. Hopefully it's a soda. I think it's round. Something else looks like it's showing up. No, it's busted. Okay, I think we got a really big flask out of here. Okay, I think it's ready now. What the heck? That's a weird liquor bottle. Yeah, it looks like it's from England. Just by the style of it. You can still see the label on it. Dry Gin. Could this be the Gordon's Dry Gin from before they made the classic shape? Not really sure. Can't really read it. Okay, I got a whiskey cylinder. It's a slick as always. It's a three piece mold. So I could turn on purple and get seven or eight dollars for it. Looks like another whiskey fifth. But this one's amber. No, it's not a whiskey. That is weird. I wanted to say it looks like a 1940s or 50s beer. 
but then it would have to have a crown top. This is definitely really old. Carlsbad. I've never found one of these. It's kind of a black glass. Well, olive green anyway. It's rather unique. I think that dump is pretty much done for and it's extremely hard to dig. The dirt is so hard. Almost everything is unembossed. So I think it's time for a refreshing creek walk. Well, this creek has been walked by a number of people already. As you probably have seen those father and son creek walkers from Fayetteville. They used to come down here a lot and then when they quit this other guy took up where they left off. So I'm not likely to find anything but I, at least I'm giving it a try since I'm here. Okay here's the wrap up. There's really just one bottle worth talking about. This one here and I gotta say, it is a lot sharper than any I've ever seen before. Pretty clean example. Nice and sharp. Yes, I'm a bit disappointed that my camera failed to record the moment I pulled this out of the ground. These are quite interesting. They come in many different colors. The embossing itself is actually different on a lot of them. This one is probably the most detailed one I've seen. I'm going to show you some pictures of some odd colored ones. Just so you can see how interesting these can be. And I'll show you a little bit of advertising that goes with it.